Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install this upper control arm on this 2008 Chevy Silverado work truck. If you need these parts or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna take a pry bar and take this hubcap off first. Go around here. Pry it off. There you go. Pull that off. Set it aside. I'll take a 22 millimeter socket. I'm going to loosen up these lug caps. Loosen those off. Take this center cap off. I'll take a breaker bar and a 22 millimeter socket and loosen up these lug nuts. Now that all those are loosened up, I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same. Now I'm gonna raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stands. <laughs> these lug nuts off. Once we get those lug nuts off, just take the wheel off. We're going to disconnect this ABS harness. Just take a trim tool to get underneath here. Slide that up, disconnect the connector. We want to push down on this little tab. Slide it out like that. I'll take a straight blade screwdriver. I'm just going to get in here to release this. It's easier to release it right here and just take the harness off like that versus using a trim tool. You can do it that way, but it's just easier to do it this way. Set that aside. We want to disconnect this bracket right here. This is for the brake hose. We use a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Loosen up this bolt. that bolt out and then we can grab the bracket, slide it up, set it aside. And we're going to take this nut off, loosen it up with a 19 millimeter wrench. Take a socket and a ratchet. Just loosen it up, it's a little bit easier. Oops. All right, before I take this nut off completely, I'm just gonna keep it on there a couple of threads because I wanna break it free from the knuckle, break the, break the upper ball joint from the knuckle. I can use a pickle fork, try to get in between here and break it free with a hammer or just slide it into position and then hit it with a hammer.
and that popped free, which is good. And having the nut there prevented anything from sliding out too quick. Now I can push down on this control arm and then pull the nut off and slide it out just like that. And this knuckle is just going to stay in that position for now. I'm going to take these nuts off. I'm just going to use some rust penetrant before I try to loosen them up. Just get it on the nuts. Now I'm going to use a 21 millimeter wrench. I'm going to go on the inside of this bolt and a 21 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. I'm going to loosen up this nut. Once it's pretty, once it's pretty loose, then I can switch to a ratchet. We're going to do the same with the other side. Put a wrench on this bolt. Right there. And take a 21 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Loosen up this nut. that nut off. We get a straight blade screwdriver and pry under here. Someone actually put this cam adjuster on backwards. This normally would look different. Now I can take this cam adjuster out. Keep in mind the direction these come off. Like I said, this one was backwards. This one should have been this way. Should come out like that. Take the other side out. Just give this a little tap. This one's on there correctly. This little plastic thing is just to, so when they install it from the factory, these normally get taken off when there's an alignment done so that they can make the adjustments. Now we're gonna take these bolts out. Make sure the knuckle doesn't pull on the caliper hose too much, just slide it into position where it just sits there. Take this bolt out, just slide the adjuster. If you slide the upper arm all the way back, it's easier to get the bolt out. So I'm trying to slide the cam adjuster down the bolt as I slide the bolt out. Just like that. So we'll set that aside. Make sure you keep it where this one was the back side and that one is the front side. You don't want to get them mixed up. It's 
almost making it past the spring. Just wiggle it back and forth. I'm going to try to get a bigger pry bar in here. Just spread the spring a little bit. There we go. Once it got past the head of the bolt, then it's able to slide out. Grab the upper control arm and just pull it right out. Here's our old part. Here's our new upper control arm from 1AAuto.com. As you can see, the shape is the same, has the same bushings. The new one actually comes with a grease fitting, so it is greasable for to make sure it lasts longer. Flip it over, the stud is in the same position comes with a new nut. You take this nut off. There's actually a cover. This is just for shipping purposes. Take that off. And it does come with a cotter pin. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you'll be ready to rock and roll. We're going to take the new upper control arm, slide it into position. I'm going to have to work it back and forth a little bit. You can take a hammer and just give it a tap. bolt and get this one started. Let's do this. I'm use a pry bar and a hammer. Just try to tap the bolt further back into the slot. Further back I go, the easier it will be to get past that spring. And got that bolt in. We want this cam this slot on the cam to go over that little pin. Yeah, so I'm gonna pry this out a little, and slide it up, and then put that back into position. Just like that. We'll do the same for the front one. that bolt all the way through. I'll slide this cam back over that little little pin right there. Just like that one. Now we'll take this outer cam. This is going to go on the outside. And I'm going to line this up with this plastic goes over that pin. So you may have to pull this 
out a little bit because from the factory, they align that pin up with that plastic. So there's a little hole there. So line that pin up with that hole. like that. I'll take the two nuts. Put the nut there, put the nut there. Take my 21 millimeter wrench, stick it on the bolt on the inside. And then I'll take the 21 millimeter socket and ratchet, tighten up this bolt, this nut on the outside. I'll just snug it for now. Actually, not too snug because I still want to be able to move this. I'll do the same with the back side. Snug that, not too tight because I still want to move this. All right. At this point, um, it's easier to torque these bolts, but I want this arm to be about where it would be um, at normal ride height. So if you have the ability to put the tire on and put this back together and then retorque it, that would be ideal. But if you can estimate where ride height would be. Take the 21 millimeter wrench, take the 21 millimeter socket. I'm gonna to torque this nut to 140 foot pounds. We'll do the same with the back side. Take this, pull the knuckle into position, and use a pry bar. Pry down on the upper control arm. Then I'll take the nut, get this started on the ball joint. Be careful not to slip. All right. Then I'll start to tighten this down with a 18 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Now I'm gonna use a torque wrench the same 18 millimeter socket. We're gonna to torque this to 37 foot pounds. And we'll take a uh, cotter pin. I'm gonna to try to line it up. If the castle nut doesn't line up with the hole, you can tighten it a little more. So this doesn't line up too well, so. Tighten it a little more till the hole lines up. Line that up. Now I'll take some side cutters and I'm just gonna bend the cotter pin down just like that. You can cut it right there and then just trim it right here. like that. 
I'm gonna install the grease fitting. Just get this lined up, get it started. Let's just take a seven millimeter wrench and just snug this up, not too tight. That's good. Now we'll install this brake caliper hose bracket. Just get that in position. Take a 10 millimeter bolt. Get that started. I'll use my 10 millimeter socket and match it. Just snug that up. Reposition this ABS wiring harness to this little plastic clip and then lock it in place. Reconnect the wiring harness here, click it in, and then put it back into the holes and lock it down. Now I'm just going to grease this, take a grease gun, put it on the grease fitting, give it a couple pumps. Do a couple more pumps. All right, I like to do it till I see the boot move a little bit so that at least I know the grease made it down below. Now remove the grease gun. Slide the wheel over the lug studs. Put the lug nuts on. I'm gonna use a torque wrench and a 22 millimeter socket. We're gonna to torque these down to 140 foot pounds. We're gonna to torque them in a star pattern that's gonna tighten the wheel down evenly. Good. Now I'm going to install a center cap. I'll use the socket, the same 22 millimeter socket, and just snug these down by hand. You really don't want to tighten these because they'll, they're plastic, they'll end up breaking. Then we're going to take this outer hubcap and we're going to line this valve stem area up right there and just push it on. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.